students and welcome to your project map tour. I'm going to show you how to find everything you need on your 340 project map that will tell you how to go from step to step to step, week to week to week, task to task to task, to find where you are in your project each week. Inside your project map, you will find everything you need to complete your project. You will find videos that will explain your steps to you. You'll find videos to teach you the technology you need. You'll find example videos to show you what you're doing. You'll find all kinds of videos. You'll also find example documents and other kinds of documents that will help you finish your project. You'll find links that will take you to the right places to do your, to do your work. And the map will show you where you are and where you're going. So let's go look at it. Right now we're on the FPEL 0340 student website and we're going to go to the project area. The project area is up in skills. Inside skills, if you open study skills, you'll see the project. That's where we'll go. Here's the project page. This is the advertisement from the SQU Travel Club. It gives you some information about what you're going to be doing for your project and the goals that you have, the, the purpose of your project. If you scroll down a little farther, you will see this. This is the map of your 340 project. This map has all of the little steps that you need to follow to finish your whole project. It looks like a lot of work right now, but we have 15 weeks to finish. And if you do a little bit every week, you'll finish perfectly and without too much stress. So on all of these circles, you can click and it will take you to the pages that you need to do the work for that week. But first we should start by looking at about the project. About the project gives you this page. You see here, there are three videos. This one is an advertisement for your project. This one is the contest rules from the SQU Travel Club. The president of the SQU Travel Club will tell you about what you need to do to finish your project. And down here, this is, says a tour of the 340 project. That's what you're watching right now. That's what I'm filming. So there's not really a video yet there yet. That's just where it will be. Now, if we want to go back to the map after we watch all the videos, we just click here, back to map. Now we can start looking at all of the circles. You'll see here there's this yellow circle. I'm gonna move that yellow circle every week so you can see where we are. Right now we're on week two, you've got a yellow circle on week two. Next week you'll see it on week three. So let's go look at start week two. When I click that, it takes me to this page. This is the main instruction page. You can see the little teacher picture up here and she is saying, hi, you're on the instruction page. Here you'll see a video, sometimes one, sometimes more than one. This is the videos that we have filmed to show you everything you need to do the project for that week. We will walk you through step by step and give you all the help that you need to finish your step that week. Up here at the top, there are three buttons. The instruction button, that's this page. So if you click it, it doesn't do anything. Here, this is the video help page. The video help page will take us to a page with some videos. Some are about things about the project, specific tasks. Some are technology help for you and some other examples and things like that that will, that will help you finish your project. The other button is the documents button. When you open the documents button, it will take you to a page with information that's a summary of what your task is for the week. It will take you to a rubric. That means a little chart that shows you how you get your marks for the week. It will show you all kinds of documents and information that you need to complete your tasks. So this is the instruction page. Let's go look at the video help page. Here on the video help page, we've got five videos this week. That looks like a lot, but really we only need to watch three of them. The main video in the middle is an example mini presentation. This is like what you're going to make, but this is the one that I did. Over here, these are some Google Slides videos. The top one is for if you're using a computer with Google Slides and the bottom one is if you're using your phone. So you just need to choose which one you want to watch. On this side, there are two videos and these are for recording your screen slideshow like I'm doing right now, where I've got the slideshow and a little picture of me. Um, you can do that on your phone. The top one is for if you have an Android phone and the bottom is if you have an iPhone. And Whichever one you need, if you just download the app and follow the instructions on the video, you can produce a video just like this with this with the screen and a little picture of the person inside. So now let's go look at the documents page. Here on the documents page, there's always the same things in the same places. So in the middle, we can see some instructions. This is a summary of what you're doing this week, your goals. We also sometimes have some links and some other advice for you. 
Over on this side, we have documents or anything that you need to complete your task for the week. This week, we've got a list of all of the sections and you need to click on your section to find the topics that are available to you. At the bottom, there's an example mini presentation. You're gonna click that to download. That's an example of what you're going to be making this week and you can see our example that we made. Over here on this side, we this week we have a video because we're not getting any marks, but normally this is the where uh, there's a chart, a rubric that shows you how you get your marks for the week. It will tell you from zero to four. Zero is you didn't do anything. Four is amazing and excellent. Um, all of the differences that you need to get different scores. So if you're looking for a four, it will tell you exactly what you need to do to get that four. At the bottom, you can see the challenge scroll. This is to push you to take yourself to the next level. This will help you make your English a little better. This will help you with your research skills. And if you're finding that this is a little easy, you can push yourself here to get better marks and to improve yourself um, by following the advice in the box. Each week there is a special challenge and to get those four top marks, you need to do the challenge. So that's everything that's on the documents page. There's the video page again and back to the instruction page. Those are the three pages that you will see for each week, each step, each task on the map. To go back to the map, we need to click the back to map button. And then we can look, each one of the tasks has the same three pages. So for example, if we look at task one, this is the instruction page. It's a video telling you how to do everything. Here's the video help page. Here's the documents page. And you see the same elements. Back to the map. Let's go look at task number four. Here, same thing. Here's the instruction video. We're on the instructions page. Here's the video help page. And here is the documents page. This is what the rubric looks like. That's the little chart that tells you how to get the different marks. So if you want a four, you're looking at these. Here's the challenge. So each week you need to go to the map, find the week that we're on. You can find it easily by looking for that yellow circle and click the circle and it will take you to the three pages, the instructions page, the video help page, and the documents page, and all of the information that you need to complete your project is there. So please watch all the videos. That's how you're learning how to do your project and work hard, push yourself to the next level with the challenge. And I hope you do a really great job on this project. Good luck.